So number one thing you got to do is this. You got to change the target and you need to look at the target daily. The target, you have the wrong target right now. If you're struggling, you have the wrong target. When you change the target, everything changes. Number one, the target. Number two, you need to get your income to a place. This is a fascinating concept right here. Okay, if you can do this, I guarantee you'll be rich. You need to get your income not to what pays your bills, but to where you can save 40% of your gross income is saved. Okay, now you want to talk about something difficult? This is way more difficult than that. If you can do this, you will get that. All right? So when you sit down and do the math, what would it take for you to save 40% of your income? So watch what happens. If you make $10,000 a month and you want to save 40000 of it, you would pay yourself first. The government doesn't let you do that. They don't trust you. They're like, no, 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 get that money from him first before he blows it. We know he's going to blow it. Okay? We know the IRS is going to take, they're going to withhold probably 40,000 of it. So look, if you'll pay the freaking IRS four grand of 10, you need to figure out how to pay yourself four grand. What's the problem here? You got to live on two. So just keep doing the math out. This is the math you need to do with your spouse. You need to keep working it out until you're like, he's like, let's go buy a new car. Dude, yeah, we ain't got any money for a new car. That's why when I was 35 years old, no one knew that I was a millionaire. Nothing had changed. I was still running with shit shoes, you know, buying $40 shoes and, 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 and working a shirt out as long as I could. And like, nobody saw, I didn't have fancy cars. I'm driving a Camry with a million bucks in a bank. Because because I was using this, okay? I paid the IRS. I've always paid those bastards. <laughs> All right? And then what I did was I'm like I'm a bank four grand. And then I realized, dude, I can't live on I can't live on two. It's make it's making my life hard to do this. This money by the way, a better a better word for saving is storage. I was storing storing money, not saving money. I'm storing it. I'm stockpiling, if you like that word better. You don't want to save money. It's worthless. It's like saving a legal pad. A legal pad is only good if you use it. Money is only good if you use it. How, how many heard this term? Cash is? King. It's worthless. Cash is worthless. It's not a king. If you, if you leave money in this storage account too long, I guarantee you it will disappear. It always has in your life. If you look back over your life, the longer this money sits in storage, uh, Pablo Escobar, was he the drug king? Yeah. That was his biggest problem. Mold, bugs, somebody steal it, rats. You don't want to. You don't want to leave it in storage too long because it's going to zero. All cash goes to zero. All right. So now, now when you do this math, you're like, dude, how much money do I actually need? Let's kick this up to twenty grand. At twenty grand, what happens? You're saving eight. Storage. You're paying eight. And now you can live on four. See now, this is the right way to do a budget. You make 30,000, 12's going to storage, 12's going to the IR and the S, six. and that leaves you with six. So now you can start seeing, do you gotta be somewhere north of 300 grand a year? This is what they don't teach you at Harvard. You gotta be somewhere north of 360 a year before you even have money to live on. So second thing to do, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep playing this 40% game. Okay, number three thing you're gonna do. You're gonna go broke right here and invest the storage. Storage has to get invested. The golden goose is only good if she lays eggs. Otherwise you can kill her, eat her for a chicken. Need eggs. Ba money needs to make babies, right? So your goal right here is to invest, to invest the storage money, and continue to do that until this money over here, the passive money, is equal to your income. Tough game, man. Right? So what would I do? I'd go out. I'm gonna make 30 grand. I'm gonna store 12. I'm gonna pay the IRS. I'm gonna live on six. In, in Miami, you're like, there's no money left over. But there's six grand in storage right now. Six grand, six grand, keep pumping the six. Keep pumping it, keep pumping it, until you find a place where you're like, I'm going to invest this money now. When you make this move right here, do not invest in anything that is a maybe.
Okay? You don't want to put your money in anything that's... Dude, you can't risk this money. Warren Buffett says don't lose money, number one. Number two, don't lose money. I would tell you, number three, don't lose money. So what can you invest in? You can't leave it in the bank because that's losing money. They don't pay you anything. It takes you 833 years to double your money at the bank today. 833 years to double your money at today's bank rates. So if you guys don't know this, you need to start looking at this saying, hey, at night, man, what am I doing with my money, man? Confront the beast, right? So right here, the, the passive income, your target right here should be my passive income sh now exceeds my monthly income. You just need to do the math on it. Okay, so look, it's simple. Target, what's your new target? Freedom. Yeah, freedom. But 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 let's put my, a, a number on it. So your first target should be $10 million and nothing short of that. And everybody in the room can do it. Okay, I can I can show I can show everybody in the room somebody on this planet that came from your situation that's banked $10 million. Probably worse. You don't need a degree. Oh yeah, I I can, I can show you for every case bad problem you got, I can show you somebody you trade problems you you'd be like, "No, no, I'll keep mine. You keep yours." Second thing, you got to get your income to 40%. You got to get your, your income to where you can bank 40% of your income. This is the most difficult part of this in the beginning because you're starving here until you confront the real problem. The real problem is income. Third thing is this money, you need to stay broke with this money. You need to get this money in a sacred account somewhere where no one is going to jack with this money. Here, I'm busted all the time, I'm broke all the time. This is what I got on me today. Okay, like I'm piling up everything right now to make, a, uh, make another deal, right? So I want, that's what it means by being broke. It doesn't mean get money, blow it. It means get money, store it, okay? Find a place that's gonna go where you don't lose the money. Number three, don't lose money. Cars, don't buy them, lease them. Okay, you're at where you live, don't own it, rent it. Don't own anything, dude. Just stack cash and wait till you can put it in something where it won't be lost, it just goes away for a while. And inflation over time, five years, seven years, 10 years, one day you look up and like, okay, I didn't lose my golden egg, we, 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 that thing is protected, I got a little drip every month from it, and you keep adding to that so the drip gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then you can come to work on Monday and say, dude, I got money coming in here. I got money coming in here. But I'm broke all the time, so I got to keep replacing the game. You know, when do you get off the treadmill? Whenever you want to. Perspective number three, as far as investments, what do you feel is the, like, your top three safest investments? Real estate, real estate, and real estate. Got it. Love it. Okay, you know why? Because when I buy a building with an address, if it's in the right location, it will be here 20 years from now. So uh, I had a guy call me about car dealerships the other day. I said, dude, I don't want to buy car dealerships. I don't even know if they're going to be here. So I'm not, I'm not buying Bitcoin. I don't know anything about Bitcoin, man. You want to give me some Bitcoin? I'll take it. But I'm not buying Bitcoin because I'm, I'm not buying Twitter stock. I don't know anything about Twitter. Is Twitter going to be here in the future? I don't know. I know I only invest in things that I know will be there in the future, excluding my condo. I'm not going to buy that. I don't, I don't need that. I want to buy things that people pay for. So this investment right here needs to produce what? One of the criteria, can't lose money. Number two, it has to give me a drip. If it don't have a baby, I ain't buying it. 